America, there are many good people. We can say that because of how when some travesty, some catastrophe happens in America or around the globe, a whole bunch of people from a Christian organization will get up and go. The challenge that most Americans have is the individuality of being responsible for the practicality of the get up and go. When people do not hear God saying get up and go or simply don't go, they often end up in more difficulty than if they simply say, no, I can get up and go, but I have no clothes on. So do I get up and go with no clothes on to protect my life, or do I get up and go carrying my clothes, or do I wait for a few minutes to get my clothes on and then go? And the truth is, it's all of the above, but you have to be listening very carefully because if there's a moment of insecurity, if there's a moment of lack of safety, and the Lord says, right now, get up and go, it might mean you're grabbing your shit and you're going. I've always been a proponent in the self-protection, self-preservation movement of self-defense instruction that people always have to have a bag or two that is ready for their play out, for their walk out, for their run out, for their escape from the predators of America. You see, you never know where your words will take you. You never know what your wisdom will make for you. But sometimes the Lord is giving you a prophetic advice that says, No, you may not go. Or, Yes, you may not go. But a lot of times people rely on their own advice, their own making, their own intelligence, and it harms people. And in that matter, they put themselves in front of Satan. You see, Satan is a term that is poorly defined today. Satan is defined best, I feel, by the late Derek Prince and his ministry one of his great books from the 80s it was head full of prophetic wisdom about the technology coming and what I can talk about is what he defined in general of what the Satan word actually means it's not the hoofed animal that we often see in the dark movies around Halloween the satanic individual is the aggressor or the assailant to people's lives the assailant to a person's life is the person who is trying to create strife in someone's life so that they cannot get on in the success or the love of life. 